Previously on Local Unlocked. Yo, what's going on, buddy? Hey, is this Kyle Kelly, Mr. Move to Patchogue.com? We are in Patchogue, New York. Well, I had such a great time last time. Figured we'd give you a call, see what you're up to. Just about to go grab some pizza over at Donatina's. Have you been there yet? Hey, listen, anybody know who this Kyle Kelly guy is? Whatever it is, we're going to keep it a guy, you know? Main Street doesn't come back without people, without young families, and without feet on the street. Ah, Mr. Taylor! No, thanks. <laughs> no other food do you share the way you share pizza. And now back to Local Unlocked. And Whoa. there's our buddy Chris. What's going on? What's going You're not going to get to that drink, first drink without me this time, man. Oh, no, no, way, oh man. no. So uh, County Legislator Rob Colarco is going to be meeting us over here. Awesome. Kind of so, cool. We'll talk about some of the stuff going on in the county and his campaign. And Now, um, is, do, you, do you know anything about this place? About Gallo? Gallo was one of the first restaurants in town. Has home cooked Colombian food here. It is, it's really one of my favorite spots, and they play some really good Irish music from every now and then. I bet, I bet. So, <laughs> listen, living in Queens, I got a pretty high standard for some Colombian for food. For Colombian so food? Uh, You're gonna like the Campa Plata. Let's see how the, Patro is the doing it. Right. The empanadas. Thank you. It'll be a lot of fun. Thank you, sir. I never get off the side. Hey, Rachel. Hey, how are nice you? Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Like hey, how are Wicked. Oh, there you go. I want to thank Rachel for actually Absolutely. setting this up. Absolutely. Yeah. Rachel, Rachel and Rob are neighbors. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Rachel. We, we met at the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What attracted you to, I mean, um, as, a, as a consumer, as a resident, someone who lives here, what attracted you to want to uh, live and bring your family to Patchogue? So, move to Patchogue. Yeah, to move to Patchogue.com. Yeah, yeah, listen. No, he's. Kyle's, <laughs> Kyle's right, because I'm from upstate New York originally, so I, I moved down You're to Long Island, and I, 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 oh, I really? yeah, 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 so, I can tell so Patchogue, Patchogue is a place that is, first of all, welcoming to sure. new visitors, so it's like a lot of little villages, I always joke, villages are often made to keep people out, this village is made to bring people oh, in. Sure. Yeah. Well, I, love, I love how now you go through and everything kind of has its own little look to it, you know, it's like, it's, yeah. um, I'm just... Sometimes you go places and everything's cookie cutter. Um, sure. Everything looks the same. Uh, you gotta have the same signs and everything. And it's just like I like walking down here and it's like everything's got its own flavor. A little unique style. Too. Yeah. This is established 2002. You've been here 17 years. It'll be 17 years October 14th. Yes. Oh boy. The oldest guys yeah. in town. That's oh, for sure. uh, I'm an OG in town. I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, As a Kyle was saying, you're one of the first, uh, one of the first restaurants um, next to there was like Brick House. Yeah, you must have followed the Brick House. Right? Brick House and then uh, I followed up. And uh, when I came into town, Patchogue was nothing what it looks like today. So it's it's pretty nice to be in the middle of it and to be a part of it and to see it coming to fruition the way it has. Uh, it's been special, uh, you know, to say the least. Uh, and we're going strong and so is the whole village. We really saw this place just like grow and grow. And we grew it together. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. when we came together and then it just little by little, we just had that side. We didn't have a bar, we didn't have anything. Then we got the bar, then we expanded. And then you had place, some places starting, you know, getting full of those vacancies, you didn't see yeah. as many. Restaurants came, some came and went, but you had people coming in. It was an interest in Patrick. Yeah, we're doing a new road project uh, right behind the brewery where we're going to be creating a new park right on the Patchogue Lake. So you're going to have all the great opportunities. And it's, it's, Paul, it's all about how do we leverage those dollars. And when Paul talks about it, he's taking something along the lines of 30, 40 million dollars in, in various public investments and put it, turn it into $400 million worth of private investments. And that's just turned the village around. So guys, I think these drinks are really good. What are you thinking about some food? I mean, I, you know, Kyle said, look, and living in Queens, I got some high standards for Colombian food. All right. So <laughs> let's see, let's see happen. what it's all, let's see what it's all about. I'll get you guys a different you're, things. You're so. gonna have the green sauce. That's oh, all I'm gonna tell you. I like it, it's not good. Right. This sauce is good, I like it. <laughs> Fantastic. So before it gets cold, Dave, why don't you tell us a little bit about these dishes? I mean, right, um, these are uh, these are from my appetizer menu. Uh, let's start from left to right. Uh, this is our fresh calamar, which we cut daily. We bread on the spot. 
and make our own sauce. Yeah. My empanadas are uh, freshly made. We make our, we get our corn, we grind our corn. It's a potato filling, so if you're vegetarian, you could have my empanadas. And then you have our finger food. This is good for a table of four or five. Uh, has steak, pork, sausage, chicken, a little bit of everything. Chicharron. You can't go wrong. Chicharron, chorizo, carne salad. A little bit of everything. You dip all that stuff into my avocado sauce, which we're going to try that out. Gotta try the green sauce. And then we have our ceviche. Our yeah. ceviche is a shrimp ceviche, which is uh, marinated, okay. and it's uh, it's actually cooked in its own lemon and lime juice, and that's served with tostones, which are green plantains. Yeah, so you're using lemon and lime juice. Oh yes, you use all citrus flavors to cook the shrimp because you don't want to you don't want the shrimp to overcook itself. Yeah. That's when you get a chewy shrimp. You want a nice crunchy snap. Sure. Awesome ceviche. Sure. So uh, dig in. All right. Listen, I gotta go for some the calamari. I'm an Italian man here. Yeah. Calamari. So I gotta calamari. give this a go. I gotta go to the room and stuff. So what tells us about the tequila, you got your own private label tequila and um, there's some glasses and limes there so I know it's not just for show. Well, we buy so much Patron here that Patron asked me to do um, a barrel select program with them. That's great. <laughs> so uh, we finally got to choose a barrel that we enjoyed, which is a Hungarian oak aged uh, 22 month añejo, which is so smooth, it's such a smooth. And that's what I was thinking. These don't have tequila in them. Really clean finish. It's just delicious. I drink this like a scotch. <laughs> Salud, guys. Salud. You know, we were talking about you know Rob's up for re-election this November, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm up for re-election this year. Yes. Listen, we we've done a lot of good work here in town, and I, I, I'm not good at talking about elections. We have a, a plan in place to start stretching Main Street down, doing some similar development with buildings that are, you know, right on the road frontage, right. giving you that commercial space on the first floor with some apartments on the second and third floor. And we actually have a, a developer who's already pitched a plan. He's before the town now with a project he wants to do at Grove Avenue. That's right. And we have this partnership with the Plaza Max. So they're a cinema arts theater here in town. And they do everything from filming, showing opera to showing your latest uh, you know, feature film that's in the theaters. That's right. The outside of the village is just as hopping as inside of the village. Yes, yes. And we want to make sure that we have that same downtown in that area, bring in the business in, and it all feeds itself. A key phrase that Rob said, that I don't want to glance over it because like, you know, I love I love things like that. You said downtowns are entertainment vendors, right? So I think that just like kind of encompasses it's, if that's if that could just be like the slogan we, for any city planner, right? It's just like because what's it what's an entertainment? You know? It's it's entertainment. Yeah. You're, you're, we're, you're, you're never gonna get the department store dead back to downtown. Heck, they're leaving the malls now. Yeah, they are. But what you will get is the entertainment venues, the restaurants to get their good food. The bars that have the music in them, the theater where, where you can go watch a show. That people can't be come together, that you're walking about, you look around Main Street now, you see people up and down the road, and they're just and they're hanging out and yeah. they're getting to know each other. And that's what downtowns are all about. Yeah. It's happening all across the country, but Patchogue is definitely the leader here on Long Island about yeah. how to make that happen. I mean, unbelievable what we could really do with this town. You know, it's baby steps. We've seen a lot of growth in the past 10 years without a doubt. That's what made me move here, made me buy here. It made me really promote moves to Patrick. Thanks for hosting us today. And, uh, we got some delicious food. Much appreciated. Thank you. Uh, hey, listen, it was great to see you. We got great stuff done. happening, uh, Patrick. We appreciate it, guys. It was great to see you. And, uh, Yes, come down to East Main Street, see what we're doing. Yeah, can't Absolutely. wait to see it. Oh boy, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, listen, for, for, for Patchogue, for Long Island coming from Queens, that was a fantastic Colombian spot. David, one of my favorite owners so far, what a great guy. He hooked us up with some hot sauce. We tried some, some um, we tried some uh, house to kill him. Yeah, the hot sauce? Where'd my hot sauce go? I was walking around with it, I had a half a sauce. I thought I left it somewhere. <laughs> All right. We'll come back and get it later. I wish Rob could. Uh, I wish Rob could have joined us uh, for the rest of the evening. But, um, but what a good guy. Yeah, but he's he's got a, yeah. an election coming up, and I don't think he wants to get caught with us the rest of the night. Yeah? <laughs> We're not going to do anything crazy. We're keeping our clothes off the rest of the night. This has been a Sky Limitless Media production.
Want to appear on an episode of Local Unlocked? Contact us via our website at www.skylimitlessmedia.com and tell us all about it.